I'm Phil, I'm 22 years old, I live in South London. I have two children, a boy and a girl who is um, three and four. Most of the time I'm with them, but I, I live somewhere else. And um, I've been involved with the Young Guys group for just over a year now. My feelings before was more the stereotypical view that I was more thinking let me just financially, 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 financially. But getting fo involved with the Young Fathers group actually made me realise the quality time that you spend with your children is just as important as well. So when I got in, so when I got involved with young dads, it taught me more about how to be a how to be a father to my children and how to have a stronger relationship with them. It's definitely made me made me aware of more and made me aware of um, my behaviour with them, my behaviour around them, how I act with them, what and how focused I do need to be. In my, in my studies, in my work and everything to see for their future. It got me back onto my career path because I'm studying social work and I want to do youth and community within social work. The first project was um, 100 Dads Walk and that was, uh, that was, it, it, was, it, was it, it turned out wonderful. And then it was a, basically a march from, or a walk from Brixton to Brockwell Park and, young, and basically wearing t-shirts and everything. And when we get to the end, we just have um, together time, you're all fathers from anywhere that whoever came. From that, it um, escalated to, I started working for um city hall organisation called um, the Peer Outreach Team. And it's wonderful because we work on many different projects around London, any project to do with young people. I used the online for um, searching for children centres within my area, updating on opportunities available, um, events events happening and um, staying, in, staying in touch with other, people, um, other young fathers. I actually used to think that a lot of the services were just for the mothers. I didn't realise it was actually for the fathers. So when I used to go to children's centres, I used to think that certain playgroups was for the mothers. I didn't think, OK, because you didn't see no fathers there, they didn't really um, acknowledge you as much. So I wasn't really aware until we forced our way in, basically. <laughs> a lot of fathers, the reason why they're going through so much stuff is because they're not aware of what's out there for them. You know, I do not understand that there are opportunities, there are opportunities for them and there is help for them as well. Definitely when you're together and you're sharing experiences and you, you spend time with each other and it's fathers and their children, I think it's a wonderful experience. Because my brother's, got, my brother's got children and my other brother's got children, like on Father's Day it's crazy because my granddad at the top, he has four sons, we have our children and then it's just, it's just, and it's just wonderful to spend time with the fathers and the children, it's just wonderful. And to have this on a regular basis, because we don't have that on a regular basis. Have this, have that on a regular basis now. It's just wonderful. There's so many different role models. They might be younger, they might be older, but there's so many different role models within a group. So many, it's so diverse. So many different people, so many different cultures. So it's wonderful that we can get together and have a and look at a grasp of what's actually what what fathers are, the father role is from a different group of people. Before, as a father, I felt very, I lack confidence in that area, and but now I feel is it I feel. I feel excited about the future. I feel excited about every day I spend with my children now because um, this, it, it, this, it's not just a group where we get together and find out we find resources, but it's a group where you gain confidence, you gain higher self-esteem, you gain knowing how to be a parent because you're learning from each other. I wouldn't change it for the world. <laughs> I wouldn't change it for the world.